When we introduced compound interest, earning interest on interest, we said that the number of compounds would affect the amount of money that you earn. In fact, with the more you compound, the more money that will be added to the account. And so the interesting question is, well, what if we kept compounding more and more often? Well, that's where we come up with continuous interest, which really is infinite compounds per year. It's just always collecting interest. The fastest, best investment you can possibly make at continuous interest. You get the most money the fastest. And the equation that's going to help us calculate continuous interest, when we see the keyword continuous, we're going to use what's often called the PERT equation. A equals P times E to the RT power. Now, a couple of these variables we've seen before. We know A is the future amount, or future value. There's the A. P is the present value. on the account. That's where we get the P from. Skip the E for a second. We've seen R before. R is the interest rate, which we know must be written as a decimal. And again, R for the interest rate. And T is time, again, in years t for time. Now, we don't need an n for the number of compounds, because the number of compounds is going towards infinity. It's just always earning interest. And so that's where we get this letter E. There was a great mathematician called Euclid, named Euclid, sorry, who began investigating this continuous interest thing and this continuous compound. And so Euclid discovered that this number tends to come up quite frequently throughout nature, and he called it E for Euclid's constant. E is approximately 2.7182, and it just kind of keeps going with no pattern or design to it. It's kind of similar to pi, 3.1415926. It just keeps going with no pattern to it. Well, the good news is you don't have to memorize E, because E is already in your calculator. So it's going to give us a very exact answer, which is very important for these. So the E will come from our calculator, but just so you know, it's approximately 2.71828 or so. And so, for example, if we've got an investment of $25,000 at 11.5% compounded continuously, that's that key word that tells us to use this formula, not the, not the one that has an N in it, what is the balance after 20 years? Well, we've got 25,000, 11% in 20 years. And I told you I'm going to give you the formula a equals P E to the R T. Well, the 25,000, that's the principal starting present value. 11.5 is the interest rate as a decimal is 0.115. And the 20 years is the time. So all we have to do is plug this information into our calculator, and we get, or, well, let's do it in the equation first. A equals P, which is the 25,000. E, that's going to be given to us by the calculator, R is 0.115 times T, which is 20. Now, it's important you figure out how to best type this into your calculator, because each calculator does this differently. I strongly suggest the TI30XIIS, because it's the easiest. You type it in exactly like it looks. You type in 25,000, and then you need the E. To get the E, there's usually either a second button in the top left corner. Some calculators, it's a shift button. And then usually there's another button that says LN. And right above LN, you will see, written in the background, not on a button, E to the X. That's the button that you're going to go after. 
because when you hit second, it gives you the little writing above the button. And notice it even gives you an exponent. It opens up a parenthesis for you to type point one one five times twenty. Close the parentheses. Very important that the whole exponent is in parentheses. And when you hit enter, you find out you have quite a lot of money in twenty years. It has more than, it has multiplied by about ten almost. You've got two hundred forty nine thousand three hundred fifty four dollars and fifty six cents. Compound interest can grow very, very fast. Twenty five thousand dollars can grow to two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a matter of twenty years. In another twenty years, that's going to grow to over two and a half million dollars. So, compound interest. Quite an interesting growth. Let's look at another example with continuous interest. Here we're asked to find the balance at the end of ten years on thirteen thousand dollars at four percent compounded continuously. There's that key phrase, continuously. When you see continuously, no, that's the equation A equals P E to the R T. So we need to know what to do with the ten years, the thirteen thousand dollars, and the four percent. Well, ten years, that's the amount of time the investment's there for. Thirteen thousand dollars, that's what was invested at the present. And four percent is the interest rate, point oh four as a decimal. Plug it into the formula, A is equal to P, the thirteen thousand dollars. E to the R T, R is point oh four times T is ten. And again, it's important as we type it into the calculator, that whole exponent's in the parentheses. Thirteen thousand dollars times E to the point oh four times ten comes out to nineteen thousand dollars. Three hundred ninety three and seventy two cents. Continuous interest, interest upon interest upon interest compounded infinitely. We use the equation PE to the RT.